Our little church here in Air Falls had a pastor for 37 years. And when you're used to that, and all of a sudden he's gone and you have no pastor, it really leaves a, a feeling of, <laughs> now what? You know, what is going to happen? My husband was willing to preach, but it was overwhelming at times. It was uh, draining. So what a blessing to have Jonathan Dorland come. When we heard about Ear Falls, we wanted to come knowing that there was a need for leadership in the church and that we would be the right ones to fill that need. If the Elbies weren't here, it would be a real struggle to keep the church going. I think it's so important in a small town pastor that you love each individual. And that's just really encouraged me to realize their value in God's eyes, both for growing in their relationship with him and coming to him in the first place. I have never known anybody in my life that can get to know people like Jonathan. And he knows more people in town than I do, and I've been here 10 times as long as he has. It doesn't matter where you are, where you come from, who you are, you were important to him. And he let you know that. One of my best friends in the community, I'd say my best friend, is uh, Dave Hui. He's the rec director. And with him not being a Christian, it's neat through the different things we could do together, how we can share the gospel with him and things like that. John's not preachy. He, he just isn't. It, it, he gets his point across when he needs to. He's like a guy you can talk to about anything. Like, I've had conversations with him about it, his stuff I've been troubled with. With them being here, it frees me up to do more of what I enjoy doing, which is I'm the commander of the uh, Awana Kids Club. Well, it's a kids program that really gets children into learning the Bible. It's just a fun program, you know, with the games and music and what have you. The Warner program has influenced a lot of kids, and a lot of kids do come now, and lots of people have started to come to church because of them. They would bring home bits and pieces of information in one of the flyers that they had just talked about, families being able to attend church. So we do, we attend church, and we love going. The parents are seeing what these kids are learning, and they're listening. Just to know when a person has accepted Christ and to explain that to the children and they're so sincere and they accept it, to me that's the greatest joy in the world. Jonathan and Dorlin had a tragedy in Jonathan's family just before Christmas. And he said, how was, how was Christmas? And I said, well, Christmas was good. I said, how was yours? Because that's the question that you then ask. And he said, my sister died, and, and he cried and, and needed a hug, right? But that was the worst response to a, hey, how's it going, that I've received in my 34 years. When my sister had passed away, that I think there were a lot of people watching, especially in the, in the church. They loved us and cared for us so much. But just to know that God is carrying us through, I think that really encouraged them. His faith there certainly helped, uh, because as much as it was a tragic accident, um, She's somewhere else, She's, it's okay. People watch and they see, how's he going to handle this? How is it going to be dealt with? Does he lose his faith? Does he question God? People have seen that we haven't just given up, we haven't left or anything like that. I think that that means, means a lot for people to see. And then when they, when they have those crises in life, I just pray that they will look to where it's come for us. It's only the Lord that we can, why we can get through it. They know who attends the church and who can answer questions or who can be praying for them. And we have seen too that when people go through hard times, that they might be a little bit more willing to walk through those doors, but if the church wasn't there, then where would they go? I don't think without Village Missions that we would have a pastor. If there's no Bible-believing church, where would they have to turn? Like, where, what is there to, to turn to? Jonathan is laying a lot of groundwork. 
So I, I think that we're going to see the fruits of that labor in the future. The fact that they can be involved in different things in the end, we're going to see other people from the community coming to the Lord. When you're thinking about supporting different places, just to think it's so important that we don't overlook here in North America because there is such a tremendous mission field. And for my wife and I, without the giving of so many people, we wouldn't be able to be here right now ministering. And it just wouldn't be possible without the giving of many people. For us, it has just been such a blessing. And even through the challenges, it's not even what sticks out in our mind. It's, it's the joys, it's the encouragement. And I just love pastoring. There's nothing else I'd want to do.